Today, we're doing a Puss in Boots build challenge, but I'm gonna be secretly using hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive Puss in Boots build. And little does my friend know, I'm gonna be filling up the entire thing with traps to troll him. And now, let's go check out my friend GE. The what is going on over here? Bubbles, help me, I'm trapped on the spikes. I'll save you, I'll save you. Ah! But Bubbles, what are we doing today? We're doing a Puss in Boots build challenge. I love Puss in Boots, but what side are you gonna go on? The blue side or the green? side um i'm gonna go on the green side the green side that's my side what in the world fine ge i'll go on the blue side all right good because we only have 10 minutes to build this so let's get started let's go now that ge can't hear me anymore it's time to cheat so let's just go and chat and type slash slash paste and oh my goodness our puss in boots build just spawned in. we're so ahead of ge right now but it's time to put in some traps and for my first trap i want to make a fake entrance where should i put it i think the perfect spot for it will be right inside of puss in boots head over here so let's just put down some secret doors just like this and look at that that is so hidden But now let's go inside and start building our first trap for this first trap in the fake entrance I'm actually gonna make GE pick between two doors But the twist is that both of the doors will be wrong and just to make sure GE falls for this trap I'm gonna be building it out of his favorite emerald block now Let's build the two doorways up just like this and put down some super secure iron doors with pressure plates only on one side So when he goes in there's gonna be no way for him to get back out now Let's finish this room by building up some walls there we go and now that the room is complete I actually want to replace these iron doors I don't want GE to be able to see through these windows So I'm actually gonna replace these with some super secure sliding doors just like this That is so cool and now that the doors are replaced We can start building what's behind them for this room I'm gonna be spawning in a super OP mob that GE will not be able to defeat I'm super excited for you guys to see this mob because it is insanely powerful now that the room is complete We can spawn in this huge ender golem. Whoa Oh, this thing looks super strong. GE definitely won't be able to make it out alive. Now let's move on to building what's behind the next door. Behind this sliding door, I'm gonna be making a fake treasure room. So let's just build out a super tall room like this. And at the top of the room, we're just gonna place down some super dangerous lasers. Now that the lasers are placed down, we can add in a trap chest with a command block right underneath. When GE decides to open up this chest, it's actually gonna give him a levitation effect that will lead him straight into these lasers. It's gonna be hilarious. And now that the fake entrance is complete let's go check on GE to see how he's doing I secretly placed a security camera on the other side of the competition so let me just go inside my camera monitor and oh my goodness we can see his puss in boots build all right just a few more blocks and oh my yo look at my puss in boots build what do you think about it mr. snowman a snowman why is he talking to a snowman you like it I do too but little does bubbles know I'm gonna place down a ton of traps around my entire build with a super secret treasure at the end and we only have eight minutes left so this is is perfect eight minutes we gotta quickly get back to our build go 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 we gotta do this fast and since we already put in the fake entrance it's time to put in the real one and i have the perfect spot for it it'll be right here inside of puss in boots belt so let's just cover it up with some ghost blocks and now we can start building the room on the inside i'm gonna be making a pit filled with super dangerous mobs that ge is gonna have to try and figure out a way to get across so let's just build out the pit real quick and now we can go ahead and spawn in the mobs for the first mob i'm gonna be spawning in these poisonous lizards then i'm gonna spawn in a few of these dangerous scorpions and even some baby mutant endermen oh my goodness look at these mobs ge definitely won't be able to survive if he falls in here but now that the mobs are spawned in we can start building the rest of this room and we'll even put some spikes on the other side so it makes it impossible for ge to jump over it with all that said we're still gonna have to give ge a way to get to the other side i'm actually gonna put down a hidden chest right here disguised as a stone brick and in this hidden chest i'm gonna put in a web hook launcher if ge somehow finds his chest and grabs the web hook launcher he could use it to get to the other side just like this but just to make this obstacle a little bit more difficult i'm gonna break out a block here and put this command block right under a pressure plate then right on top of the pressure plate we're gonna put down a sign that says step on to get to the other side but really what this will do if he steps on it is teleport him into the middle of this pit it's gonna be so funny to see his reaction we'll even put a ghost block right in the middle to think he can make it to the other side but he can't and now that this room is complete we could build the ladders to the next obstacle for this next trap g is gonna be stuck inside a bedrock prison and the only way he can escape is by solving my impossible puzzle and there's only one way to get up there which is by opening this password protected chest let's just make this code something impossible to guess and inside of it we're gonna put in five scaffolding which is gonna be the perfect amount for him to get up here to figure out the first number of the password he's gonna have to find this hidden door right over here and this door will lead him into a little area with a sign which will show the first number of the code there we go and to figure out the second number he's gonna have to complete this barrier block park 
parkour all the way to the top, there's gonna be a little hallway that he can peek into. In this hallway, it's gonna say the second number of the password. There we go. And for the third number, I'm actually gonna make him complete a math equation. The math equation is gonna be 20 minus 13, which equals the third number of the password. Let's just close this trap door. And for the fourth and final number of the password, I'm just gonna build out a little area over here like this, put down a sign with the number on it. Now to make it hidden, I'm just gonna place down a super massive painting like that. And now that this bedrock prison room is complete, we can move on to our next obstacle. For this section, I'm gonna be making GE complete the Squid Game Glass Challenge. We can start placing down these lava spikes. He's gonna end up falling on these if he chooses to jump on the wrong glass platform. This makes it even scarier than the real Squid Game. There we go, and now it's time to build the glass platforms. The first jump will be right over here, with the fake glass on the other side. And just like that, if he chooses the right side, he's gonna fall right through. For the next few jumps, we're just gonna switch the real glass and the fake glass around to make this super difficult to get across. And just like that, the Squid Game Glass Challenge is complete. I made the pattern pretty unpredictable by going left, right, right, left, and left. I don't think GE's gonna get past this, but we'll just have to wait and see. And now let's break out a little doorway for the next obstacle. Before I build this next trap, I wanna go prank GE real quick. Let's just fly over to the wall real quick and let's break a few blocks. Oh my goodness, I can see him building his puss in boots. We'll just fly up in the air so he doesn't see us. And let's drop this blinding stun grenade on his head. Wait, what was that? Oh my, yo, why can't I see anything? He's literally blinded right now. And this is the perfect opportunity for me to grab this bazooka and Explode his build! Quick, run away, run away! Hmm, I think I just got my sight back in. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Why is my build exploded? Wait, who did this? That was such a good troll. GE is absolutely freaking out right now. This is bad. We only have five minutes left. Wait, we only have five minutes. I gotta quickly get back to the build. Go, go, go! That was such a successful prank on GE, but now it's time to build our next trap. For this trap, I'm gonna be making GE fight a mutant wither skeleton. So let's just start building out the room like this, and we're gonna be making it out of my favorite diamond blocks. What is your favorite block in Minecraft? Make sure to comment it down below. And now that the room is complete, we can start building the cage for the mutant wither skeleton. We don't want this guy to escape and kill everything. And now it's time to spawn in the mutant wither skeleton. Oh, Oh my goodness, this thing looks so scary. And just to make this fight fair, I'm gonna be giving GE a lot of gear he could protect himself with. But it won't be easy to find because I'm gonna be scattering these pieces all around the room. Let's put a chest right up here with the chest plate inside. And I'll put the leggings in this chest hidden behind this secret door. For the boots, I'll make it super hard to find by putting it in this chest right behind this stair. Even throw a painting on top of it to make it even more hidden. Last but not least, I'll be giving him this super powerful rainbow scythe as his weapon. But it'll be extremely hard to find because because I'll be putting it inside this hidden chest disguised as a diamond block. And now that this wither skeleton fight room is complete, we can make the ladders going to the next obstacle. For this next obstacle, I'm gonna be making a spike parkour, but it isn't just any regular parkour, I'm gonna be using these super bouncy springs. So let's just start building out the room. It's gonna be super tall, with spikes at the bottom. Just like that, we can start placing down our springs. First spring's gonna bounce him all the way up to this one, then he'll have to complete these mini spring jumps right over here. Then he'll have to make it to these ladders right over here here. After getting on these ladders, he's gonna have to choose between two springs. One on the left is actually gonna be made out of ghost blocks, so if GE chooses to jump on this one, he's just gonna fall right into the spikes. And if he chooses the one on the right, he can bounce to safety and move on to the next obstacle. But we only have three minutes left, so we gotta hurry up. For this next build, I'm gonna be making a super dangerous ice boating course. So let's just build out the room first. I'm gonna be filling up the bottom with sand. Let's add in some cacti here and there. And now we can spawn in this massive sand crocodile. Whoa! Oh, this thing looks super scary. GE better have his ice boating skills ready. Now it's time to build the ice boating course and I'm not gonna make it easy. Look at all of those twists and turns. And now we'll place down a chest at the start and we'll fill it with some pink boats. GE hates the color pink so this is gonna be absolutely hilarious. Now that the ice boating course is complete, we can move on to the final obstacle. We only have one minute left, we gotta build this fast. For the last and final trap, I'm gonna make GE choose between an emerald chest or a diamond chest. Let's just build out the rooms real quick, make both of the doorways and now we can place down the chest. I know GE is gonna choose the emerald chest so I'm actually gonna make this the wrong answer. Underneath this trap chest I'm gonna place a little command block. Now when GE walks in to open this chest it's gonna instantly kill him. He's gonna be so mad but if he chooses
uses the diamond chest, he's gonna be rewarded with the secret treasure, which is a whole bunch of emeralds. And look at that, I even put it in a shape of a G for GE. Just like that, my Puss in Boots build is finally completed. And oh my goodness, it looks like the timer's up. Let's go meet up GE and check out each other's build. Hey GE! Hey Bubbles! Whose build do you want to check out first? Well, since my build's obviously way better, I think we should check out mine. That is definitely not true, GE, but I guess we'll save the best for last. Alright, Bubbles, prepare to look at the most amazing build in the world. What in the world is this? Why are his boots made out of dirt? Well, because Puss in Boots loves dirt, remember? That is definitely not true, GE, but where is the entrance to this build? I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. It's somewhere on top of his head. On top of his head? Is it in his hat over here? No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, why is there a ledge right here? Wait, you already found it? Hmm, I guess he can go inside, Bubbles. Let's go! But wait a second, why are there so many spikes? You're gonna have to get around the spikes if you want to make it to your treasure. Alright, let me just slowly get by. Oh no, ow, ow, ow! This is so dangerous, but I think I did it. Let's go, and now you can get your prize. Get my prize already? Well, this is awesome. Let me just... Wait, what in the world? Oh my goodness, there's no way you just fell for it. Gee, I can't believe it. Why was there lava in there? Because you just found the fake entrance, and if you want to actually get inside, you're gonna have to find the real one. Are you serious right now? I should have known it was a fake entrance. But where's the real one, GE? You're gonna have to find it. All right, well, let me take a look around here. Is it in his belt? No, it's not here. Oh, it's gotta be in his boot. I guess not. Let me fly around and... GE, is that a door? Yup, there it is. But now try opening it up. All right, here we go. A password. Let me just try guessing it. One, two, three, four. And, and it didn't even work. GE, what is the password? I'll tell you the password right now, but only if everyone likes and subscribes. If everyone likes and subscribes, quick, everyone like and subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing. All right, GE, they all liked and subscribed. So what's the password? Fine, I guess I'll tell you the code. It's 9876. 9876? I could have guessed that. Well, you didn't, but now that we're inside, you're gonna have to choose what door's right. The green door or the blue door? The green or the blue door? Well, since blue is a way better color, I'm gonna go with this one. And whoa, a bunch of lasers. Yup, you're gonna have to dodge all the lasers if you want to make it to this chest. Okay, let me just jump over this one. Nice. And oh no, I think I'm too tall to get past this one. Oh, what do you mean? I thought you were really short. No, I'm not, GE. I'm super tall. Yeah, I didn't know about that. But if you're too tall, then how are you gonna get past? I have the perfect strategy. Since you built this out of dirt, I could just break this block on the wall, place it down, and jump over the laser. Wait, you jumped over? That's cheating. Haha, <laughs> and now I can collect my prize. Whatever, Bubbles. Just open it up. Here I go. And wait, what? I got teleported to the void. Oh my goodness. You actually just fell for my trap. Are you serious right now, GE? Does that mean that blue's the wrong answer? Yup, so you're gonna have to go through the green door. Ew, fine. And what is this? Get your weapon. Yup, I put a weapon inside of here for the super dangerous boss later. All right, let me see what it is. And GE, a poisonous potato. Ew, you know I don't like these. Well, this is the best food in all of Minecraft. I don't know what you're talking about, Bubbles. Well, that's exactly the problem. It's food, not a weapon. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. But luckily, there's a weapon hidden somewhere inside of this room. Hidden somewhere? Let me just look around. And this dirt block seems oddly suspicious, GE. Let me just try right-clicking it. And look at that, I got a wooden sword. Yup, and now that you have your sword, you're ready to go to the next section. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, what in the world is this? It's a dinosaur. Get him, dinosaur, get him. Well, that's too bad, GE, because I already won. Oh my goodness, how did you get him that fast? Because I'm a Minecraft professional. Okay, whatever, Bubbles. You can move on to the next section. What's the right time? Green or blue? Green or blue? Is that even a question, GE? Blue is 8 million times better. Yeah! Wait, what? Oh my goodness, you fell for my trap! Wait, but it's literally slime. How did I take fall damage? Because that's fake slime, Bubbles, and green is the real one. Ew, I don't want to jump on the green. It looks like boogers. It's okay, Bubbles. You got this. I guess I have to for the secret treasure. Come on. And looks like I made it. Nice job, Bubbles. And now you can make it to the next section. Whoa, what is this? Welcome to my lava puzzle, Bubbles. If you want to make it to the next challenge, you're gonna have to find a way to get past all the lava. Okay, GE. Well, that isn't very hard because this is literally a pathway right over here. Wait, why did I just fall? Haha, <laughs> you just fell because these are fake blocks. Then how in the world am I supposed to get across, GE? Well, there's another way to get past this room, so you're gonna have to find it. There are some honey blocks over here. Let me just try and stick on the wall like this. Okay, you're getting close. Come on. And wait, I just fell again. Oh my, yo, there's no way you just fell two times in a row. This is horrible, GE. How do I get across? If you want to get across, you're gonna have to look really carefully around the entire room. Really carefully? All right, detective bubbles time. Let me just look around these blocks here. 
and this one's sticking out a little bit. I'm gonna try right clicking it and whoa, there's an ender pearl. Nice, he found it. And now he can make it to the next section. Oh yeah. Let me just go through the door and whoa, I almost just stepped in that mine, GE. Welcome to my race course, Bubbles. You're gonna have to use this motorcycle to get past all the obstacles. Whoa, wait a second. This isn't a motorcycle. GE, this is literally a tricycle. Hmm, I guess it is, but it still works, Bubbles. Just get on. All right, here goes nothing. And all right, it's time to start driving this thing. I really don't want to hit these mines over here. We'll just take it really slowly and carefully. All right, come on, almost there. We're just gonna make this turn. No! Oh my goodness, there's no way you just fell in the mine. What the heck, GE? It's okay, Bubbles. Second time's the charm. All right, the rest of this shouldn't be too hard. It's just some lava here. And oh my goodness, I'm on fire. Come on, I made it. Yeah, but you just died. Are you serious right now? I made it back, but what in the world is all of this? If you want to make it to the next section, you're gonna have to go through all of these rings. All of those rings, but they're so high up in the air. I guess there's probably something in this chest here. And let's go and elytra and some fireworks. Yup, now you have your own pair of wings. Pilot Bubbles ready for takeoff. Let's go. First ring already complete. Nice, now you just have two more left. Come on, it's the final ring. Come on, you got this. Uh, are you serious, Rainia? What just happened? Oh my goodness. Looks like you took too much fall damage, but it's okay. Try to. All right, here I go. First ring. Let me make it through the second one. Nice. Third one's easily done as well. We took a little bit of damage, but it should be fine. And come on, it's the final ring. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Nice job, Bubbles. And now you're on to the final challenge. Wait, this means I'm gonna get the treasure. But what is the challenge, GE? You're gonna have to use this water to get all the way to the bottom. A water bucket clutch? Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. Whoa. Wait, this is really far, GE. I don't know if I could do this. I'm really scared of heights. Come on, Bubbles. You've gotten so close. I'm literally shaking right now, but I think I'll try it out. Let me jump off, and here we go. Come on, come on, come on. What the heck? I did it, GE. Nice job, Bubbles. And now you can get your prize. Oh, yeah. Let me see what's inside. So many diamonds and blue crystals. Let's go. Yup, but now that you saw my build, can I check out yours? Of course you can. I'm super excited to show you. Let's go. All right, GE. You can turn around in three two, one. All right, let me look in. Oh my goodness, what the heck? How did he do all this in 10 minutes? Because I'm the world's best builder. I don't know about that, Bubbles, but your build is so big. How do I get inside? I'll give you a hint. It's somewhere on his head. Somewhere on his head? Wait, Bubbles, did you copy me? Of course not. I think you copied me. Yeah, yeah, whatever you think, Bubbles. Hmm, let me just try finding this entrance. Maybe it's inside of his whiskers and no. Or what if it's inside of his hat and hmm, doesn't look like it. Wait a second. These blocks look a little suspicious. I don't know what you're talking about, GE. Here, I'll just try opening it, and nice. Looks like you made it in. And now you're gonna have to choose between door number one or door number two. So I'm gonna go through door number one. Let's go! And wait, what the heck? You just ran into the room with the ender golem. An ender golem? Wait, what? Are you serious, Renio Bubbles? How am I supposed to fight that thing? GE, you're so silly. You're not supposed to fight it. That's just the wrong answer. Hmm, well, I guess I'll go through door number two. Let me just step on this pressure plate, and ooh, a chest. Yep, since you chose the correct door, you can pick up your secret prize. My secret prize? Well, sign me up. Let me just open up this chest and wait a second. Bubbles, there's nothing in it. And look up, GE. Wait, what's happening to me? And a ton of lasers. Haha, <laughs> you just got trolled. Oh my goodness. But wait a second. If both doors are fake, does that mean I went through the fake entrance? Yep, you did. And now you have to look for the real one. I can't believe it, but hmm, I guess I'll try looking for it. Maybe it's inside of his sword and no. Or it could be inside of his arm and hmm, don't think so. Wait a second, these blocks over here look kinda sus. Sus? I have no idea what you're talking about, GE. Well, if you have no idea, then why can I just walk right through it? Oh my goodness, I guess you found the entrance. Yeah, cause you're so saucy, Bubbles. But wait a second, what is this? Welcome to the first real obstacle, GE, and look inside the pit. Are those a bunch of pink scorpions? Yup, and even some baby mutant endermen. You're gonna have to find a way to get across this pit, GE. Well, I definitely don't wanna fall inside, but wait a second, there's a block over here. If I just get a running start. I think I can make it. And wait a second. What the heck? Oh my goodness. I just got flung out of the pit. You're so lucky you didn't die there, GE. I guess I am, but how do I get across? Well, since this block is actually a ghost block, you're gonna have to look around the room and find another way. Look around the room? Well, hmm, give me a second. Wait a second. Step on here to get to the other side? Well, sign me up. And wait a second. What the heck? Haha, <laughs> you just got destroyed. That's so not fair, Bubbles. Now I'm stuck in here forever. GE, don't be such a downer. 
you're gonna have to look really carefully around the room. Look really carefully? Well, hmm. There's gotta be something around here somewhere. And wait a second, what the heck? Looks like you found the secret chest. A web hook launcher? Well, hmm. Maybe if I just put one edge on the other side of the wall and then start running really fast. Come on, come on, come on. And I made it. Whoa, you did it on your first try too. Yeah, because I'm a Minecraft pro, but I guess I can get on top of these ladders now. So let me just try making it up and holy moly, what is this? Gee, you're trapped inside a bedrock room and your only way of escaping is through this hole over here. That hole over here? Well, luckily for me, I'm super tall. So let me just try jumping on top of the entrance and wait a second, Bubbles, it's not working. Gee, you look like such a silly goose trying to do that. You're not tall enough. What do you mean I'm super tall, Bubbles? Well, that strategy is definitely not working, Gee. You're gonna have to try and find something else in this room. Something else in this room? Well, hmm, there is a chest here. What if I just try opening it? And wait a second, Bubbles, are you serious right now? There's a password. Yep, it's password protected. And you're gonna have to find out what the password is by looking at clues around the room. Clues around the room? Well, there is a painting here. So what if I just try punching it? And wait a second, a bunch of lines and the letter A. Nice job, Gee. You found the last number of the password. I found the last letter? Well, hmm, there has to be some more around the room. Maybe there's one behind this trapdoor in 20 minus 13. Well, obviously that's seven. Yep, it is seven, which means that you found another number of the password. You still have two more to go. Well, there is a hole up there, so maybe there's something around this room that can get me on top. Hmm, let me just look around the entire room and wait a second. Why am I not moving? Looks like you found the first invisible block. An invisible block? Well, let me just try getting on top. And it looks like there's a bunch of parkour, but luckily I'm a parkour pro. Come on, just one more jump. And wait a second, the letter six is back there. Yep, which is the second number of the password. And now you only have one number left, but can you find it, GE? I think I know what it is. If I go inside this chest right here and then put five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness, I got a ton of scaffolding. No way, you actually figured it out. Yup, so now I can take all these blocks and get all the way to the top. Oh yeah, it looks like you made it to my next obstacle, the Squid Game Glass Challenge. The Squid Game's Glass Challenge? Well, I don't remember this in Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots would definitely beat this challenge in a heartbeat, but can you, GE? One of these glass platforms are real and the other one is ghost blocks. Will you make it through or will you fall into the lava spikes? I'm definitely not falling because I'm a Minecraft professional. Let me just get on top of this block and then on top of this one. No way! And hmm, the blocks on the right are right, which means that couldn't be right, so I'm gonna go on the left one. Let's go! And wait a second, why am I falling? Haha, <laughs> you just chose the wrong one, GE. Oh my, are you serious right now, Bubbles? I guess I'll go on the right one, Bubbles, and now I only have two more jumps left. But can you pick the right one or are you gonna fall again? Well, I'm definitely not falling because the door's on the left. So if I just stay on the left side right here, I can make it. Let's go. No way, you actually did it. But now you can make your way down these diamond stairs into the mob battle room. Oh my goodness, is that a wither skeleton? Yep, he's super powerful and you're gonna have to fight him. Wait a second, I'm gonna have to fight that thing? Oh, Bubbles, is there anything I can use to fight it with? Yep, there's chests scattered all around this room that you're gonna have to find if you wanna beat him. A ton of chests? Well, there is one right here, so let me try opening it in an emerald helmet. Nice, you got your first piece of armor. And there's another chest right over here. Let me just try making this jump and an emerald chest plate. Just three more chests left. Hmm, the other ones are hidden pretty well. But maybe if I punch all around the room, I can find it and oh my goodness. Looks like you found the third chest. And some emerald boots. Let's go. All right, GE, two more to go until you have to fight him. Two more chests? Well, luckily this is a piece of cake. I'll just keep punching again and I found it. No way. And now I have a full set of emerald armor. Nice job. You have all your armor now, but you're still missing the weapon. Hmm, well, the weapon has to be somewhere around here. Come on, GE, just keep looking, just keep looking, and oh my goodness, a prismatic reaper. Yo, this looks so cool. Now that you're fully geared up, the cage is gonna drop in three, two, one, fight. With a skeleton, bring it on. And oh my, are you serious, Aniel? How did you get wrecked already? It's okay, Bubbles, try to. Just another hit, and nice. There's no way you actually defeated him. Yup, that weapon was pretty overpowered. But now I can make it up this ladder. Let's go. Welcome to my spike spring parkour. You're gonna have to jump on these springs and make your way to the top. A spike spring parkour? Well, this does look pretty scary, but luckily I'm a parkour pro. Let's go. Come on, just gotta make this jump and oh my. Are you serious, Daniel? Try number two, GE. Let's do this. Let me get on top of this spring again. And then these one. Come on, don't fall. And nice. But wait a second. Choose the right spring. Yep. Which spring are you gonna bounce on? I know your tricks now, Bubbles. It has to be the one in the left. Let's go. And wait a second. Why am I falling? Get trolled. You just chose the wrong one. Hmm. Well, I guess that means I should go in the right one. So let's go. And just one more jump. Good job, GE. You made it. Now it's time for you to complete this ice bone.
exploding course. And one wrong turn and you'll get eaten by this desert crocodile. This desert crocodile? I definitely don't want to fall down there, so I guess I'll open up this chest and really, dude, a pink boat? Yep, isn't pink your favorite color? Pink's my least favorite color. Why didn't you get a green boat? Because green boats don't exist, GE. Just use the pink boats and get across. Fine, Bubbles. I guess I'll use this boat. Let me just try making it across and whoa! Oh my, yo, I fell into the cage. Bubbles, help me! Oh my goodness, you're getting eaten! I'm getting eaten alive? Wait, no! That was so scary! That did not go to plan, but I think I know how to get across. What's your plan, GE? I'm gonna take it super slow, so there's no way I fall off. You're actually making it through! Come on, just one more turn and nice! Wow, GE, that was way better than before! But now it's time for you to get through the last and final obstacle. Are you gonna choose the chest in a diamond room or in the emerald room? Diamond or emerald? Well, obviously I'm gonna go through the emerald one. Good choice, you could collect your prize now. Alright, let me just open this up and wait a second. Are you serious right now? I can't believe you just fell for that, GE. There's no way. Does that mean I have to go to the blue side? Yep, the best side. Whatever, Bubbles. I guess I'll just open this up and wait a second. A ton of emeralds. Let's go. It's even the letter G. Now that we've seen each other's builds, which Puss in Boots do you think is better? Well, after carefully looking through both of the builds, I think that mine is better. What? No way. Mine is better. Wait, then who wins? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment GE. No, everyone comment Bubbles. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see another one of our adventures, then click the one on screen. Go click it, click it. Bye. Bye. Are you serious right now?